Thank you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Well, you've probably driven by the interstate exit a dozen times and just never stopped. If you've never been to the Spartanburg County town of Calpins, you're missing out. People are going where? <laughs> what do you say? Well, you want to fill them in, aren't you? Cowpens. Yeah. Town got his name because it had available cow pens where people who drove cattle mm -hmm. could stop and kick their feet up for the night or have a little place to stay. All these years later, there are still plenty of places in Calpins that you can slow down and enjoy one of South Carolina's best kept secret towns. All aboard, we're heading to the Spartanburg County town of Calpins. It has a rich military history and some sweet treats that make this a perfect day trip. The Spartanburg County town of Calpins has historically been a quick stop on your way somewhere else, originally with cow pens for cattle, then as a railroad depot in the heart of its quaint downtown. But perhaps it's most well known as a fateful stop for the British Army in January of 1781. Cow pens was a significant event in the Revolutionary War. Uh, it really helped turn the tide uh, for the Patriot forces. Like right here is where this battle happened? Like right out here? Well, right where we're standing right now is where Daniel Morgan directed the battle from. If you, if just, just, a, just a little bit, just a little ways, about 100 yards that direction is what's called Morgan's Hill. And that's where Daniel Morgan directed the battle at Cowpens. And so, yeah, right where we're standing, right here, right now, you might be standing where there was a, you know, 20, 20 cavalrymen sitting on their horses. That's so cool. That cool. The battlefield is part of a national yeah. park here with tours, a museum, and walking trails. You know, all this talk about history has me thirsty. Uh, this is a sort of a semi-sweet white grape. Welcome to the Palmetto Pickup Vineyard and Winery. Bill Farrell and his wife Lynn host weekend tastings of the wine they make in their basement. Uh, it's something now at this stage in our life that we can do together. Will is a retired Air Force chaplain who now makes wines that play on his love of classic trucks like the classy <laughs> chassis. Straight drive strawberry and pick up peach. It's a lot of work. It, it's more than what we expect. They're hoping the 800 vines planted on their eight acres will soon give them a harvest of local grapes for their wines. We want to offer people a different wine experience. If you're sort of bored with uh, Cabernets or Merlots or Chardonnays or want to try something Amberson. a little different, we've uh, got, some, got some stuff that's a little different for them to try. Just down the road, one more suggestion, but don't just take it from me. Well, Miss Hannah, I'm going to tell you, it's, I just don't know what to say except it's just extraordinary. Milton Martin is a truck driver from North Carolina who says he doesn't miss a chance to stop at Abbott Farms for all things peaches. You would expect the yard to be full out here, you know, but I guess people just, all these people blowing by in these cars need to stop, especially the ones from up north get a taste of southern hospitality. All kinds of specialty items like frog jam, moonshine jelly, and pickled dilly beans. Lord, I didn't even know what those are. So don't just drive through the next time you're in the area. Like so many before you, take a day and enjoy this upstate town that's downright fun. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. All aboard. <laughs> well, we are giving away a little getaway to another fun South Carolina town, the Weston Resort and Spa in Hilton Head. All you have to do as part of this series, uh, we're giving this away, text the word Jim, G-E-M, because that's what these towns are. They're gems. Yeah. 80310. You can enter once a week. However, just two weeks left in this promotion. This week and, of course, next week when we travel to our next small town. A couple more things about Calpins I want to mention. There is a neighborhood Navy uh, ship, a destroyer that is actually in service right now that mm -hmm. uh, is named uh, for that, well, the town, the battle that happened okay. in the town. So watch for that in the news every now and then, as well as the Mighty Moo Festival. The Mighty Moo Festival. Yeah, coming up as well in June uh, every year. So I'll put a lot of information on our website under the big red tin. Stop in there, just right north of Spartanburg. Yeah, and pick up 